Hey, what's going on everyone? Justin again, as always, thanks for watching my channel. Welcome back. Today we did get a chance to bust out the gear wrench, quarter inch digital tech angle torque wrench in the 120 XP. This thing has five different units of measure, four different modes, and it's got some other interesting features to include light up display screen that turns from green to red as you reach the torque value. It does vibrate. It does power off within 90 seconds. It's very comfortable. The flex head was just enough for me today, but I only did one valve cover job, uh, but I thought it'd be interesting to try this out uh, given the fact that the torque settings that I needed to were so low. It was a perfect time to bust this out to see if I like the features that it has. And if I can use it to torque something down like a valve cover, there should be no reason why I couldn't torque down a camshaft bearing cap. So that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and roll right into the footage. But before I do, do you wanna be buds? Let's fill up on some suds. And you can do this by going down to the bottom right hand corner of your screen and clicking on that little tiny beer mug that's gonna make you a subscriber. And being a subscriber is awesome. And when I post new content, you'll be alerted so long as you hit the notification bell as well. Got some new products coming up that we're gonna be trying out for. Today we're talking about the gear wrench torque wrench. So if you're interested, I think you're gonna enjoy the video as I'm gonna show you real world breakdown. And then we're gonna go through some of the settings. We're gonna discuss things like the peak torque, the peak angle, the degree angle, as well as your torque alert setting and when you'd wanna use those. That being said, enjoy the content. All right, so the Gear Wrench 120 XP digital torque wrench with angle head. You get a little bit of angle here. It's not a lot, but it's enough if you're using an extension. There is a mathematical equation they give you in the instruction booklet uh, that you can use to increase or reduce your torque value here down at the bottom of the page. It has five different torque settings that you can utilize. You can use uh, kilograms per meter, newton meters, foot pounds, inch pounds, or kilogram centimeters. So we'll power the device on. I'll run through that. In order to change the unit of measure, you select unit and you scroll through to the desired unit of measure that you want to use. You cannot just go changing the unit of measure. They've made it to where it locks it in, which is actually kind of a nice feature. So you can't accidentally bump any of the buttons 
changing the actual value of the torque setting in which you selected. So in order to change this, we have to press set and now we can adjust either down or up as necessary. All right, now we're gonna cover the four different modes that it comes with. Um, the first one you're already on right now, which is the peak torque, that's its default. The next one is gonna be A for angle. How you do this is you push the measurement button and then if we wanna be in degree angles, we would hit set. It's gonna to try to calibrate, so we have to lay this down on a flat surface. Now it's calibrated, you can see that we are currently at 29 degrees. If we wanna change this again, we have to press the set button and adjust accordingly. So say you have to do plus 45 degrees, should be able to go up to 45 degrees. And once we're happy, we hit set. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and change it to the third mode that it has, which is peak angle. I'm not 100% sure when you would use peak angle and I'll show you why. Um, but you'll go to PA, you'll hit set. It's gonna wanna calibrate, so you set the torque wrench down it's calibrated. So now from here, you can see that our last angle measurement was set at 45 and our foot pounds was at 20. So if I needed to change the 20 foot pounds, I should be able to adjust this. Let's say I need to adjust it down to 18 foot pounds. Once I'm happy, I'll hit set. And then, of course, the angle. So now we'll have to set the angle. So you hit set. Now we can change the angle. Let's say we want to go no more than plus 15 degrees. Hit set. And now we're all set. So now our peak angle is 15 degrees or 18 foot-pounds. Again, I... I don't know that I would ever really use a setting because if I'm going to be doing degrees, I typically, uh, I'm not paying attention to what the actual torque is, but I guess it's kind of nice that they toss that in there. The fourth mode is going to be PCT. Now this is the target torque alert setting. And what that is, is it will allow you to be within five up to no more than 50% uh, variation of the actual torque that you want to apply to a specific fastener. Let's walk through it. So we'll go to PCT, we'll hit set. Say we want to be within at least 10% of the torque value, we hit set. Now it's gonna ask for degrees. So we hit set and we're like, sure, 10 degrees. So now at 18 foot pounds, we're gonna be within a percentage of 10% or 10 degrees uh, within the value of 18 foot pounds. So that's kind of an interesting thing. If, if you want to be somewhere in the ballpark, let's say within 25% of the value, because on all data, it'll sometimes tell you torque between 12 and no more than 16 foot pounds. You do the math, you'll be able to tell how much of a percentage within that window that you have to be. So then as you're torquing it down, this display will turn green and then red once you're within the parameters that you set on the torque wrench. Pretty cool stuff, man, very high tech. So totally dig that, but those are the features and modes of this digital torque wrench. Now, one more thing to consider that let's say that we were at angle, we'll let it zero out. We're at 15, we hit set, set, that's what we want. Okay, if this thing, now this thing will power off within 90 seconds. So if we let it set here uh, within a minute and a half, it's gonna turn itself off from not being used to save battery. But let's just go ahead and force it off. And now that it's off, let's go ahead and power it back on. Okay, now you'll see that we go right back to the default setting of foot-pounds. And uh, if we want to get back into the angle, of course, we have to go back into angle. And that's pretty much going to cover all the modes and all the units of measure available on the gear wrench, quarter wrench, digital torque wrench. Overall, I think it comes in a really nice case. You can see here there were dual options with this case because you can also get the 3 8 one and that's gonna be a different min-max torque, but for the quarter inch, it fits really nice in here. It's very hard foam, very well protected, latches down nice, and it fits in my drawer of the Harbor Freight US General 56. All right, guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up for today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's content again. If you'd smash a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. Share if you want to share. And again, take a, take a split second. 
hit that little beer mug. Make sure you're subscribed because being subscribed is awesome. And I appreciate you guys helping me fill that little beer mug up. Make sure you check the description because right now I have an Amazon affiliate link for you listed in the description that will shave off 11% of this product, bringing your total price down to $249. You save $30.20. Thanks as always for watching my channel. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers and deuces.